my greetings again, Ed Wagner, Barnello Winery in Tualatin, Oregon. Where we last left off, we were uh, doing our bricks test on both our uh, Chardonnay and our Pinot Noir. We've already crushed our Chardonnay. We're gonna press that in a little bit and we'll show that operation uh, a little bit later. But right now we're getting ready to crush and destem our Pinot Noir 777 clones. And what we're gonna do for the purpose of this video, we're gonna get one vat full. We're gonna put a little potassium metabisulfite in here that helps keep the nasties away. And then we're gonna put a couple ice bricks in here and take this into the cold room. And then we're gonna allow the grapes and the must to stay on ice, stay somewhere between 45 and 50 degrees for three to five days before we start fermentation. So my handy assistant here, if you press the button and hold in on it, hold in on longer. Okay, we're ready to go. So now we're going to add some potassium metabisulfite, about, uh, about 9, 10 grams, basically the rule of thumb, 0.33 grams per gallon of must. And we've got about 24, 25 gallons in here right now. I'm going to stir it in real good. And then we're gonna keep this nice and cold for the next three to five days. Got some sanitized ice jugs here. We switch these out every morning. And this will keep this must nice and cold. We're gonna cap it off with a lid. And uh, I'll flush this a little bit later with CO2. But now we're gonna take this into the cold room where it uh, stays at about 58 degrees room temperature, but the must will stay at about 48 degrees with the ice blocks. We just leave it here in the co cold soak. And probably before we're done today, we'll have four or five of those vats f full in here and they'll stay nice and cold for the next four, four or five days. In our next video, we'll show you what happens when our uh, grapes, our red grapes are done with cold soak. And we're also gonna go to our Chardonnay grapes and show a demonstration on the press. And that'll be in our next video. Thanks a lot.